A new warning from a Canadian researcher tonight. Many of the Canadian Rockies' iconic glaciers will be gone within our lifetimes. It's a significant loss of beauty and character, but it also has major implications for safety and for drought on the prairies. Here's Bill McFarlane. This ridge here is up here, and it's largely deglaciated, just a little bit of glacier in here. So um, it's a tremendous change. It's retreated about three kilometers uh, over that time. That's the Pedo Glacier, the most studied in the world. Since 2019, it's retreated more than three football fields in length. It will cease to be functioning as a glacier later in this decade. The Pedo is not alone. All over the Canadian Rockies, these rivers of ice are fast vanishing and changing the way people move in the mountains. And it's not just that the maps are wrong by kilometers. You know, you show up and your map says there should be a glacier there and you can't even see it. We can deal with that. He says there are routes he climbed as a kid on Mount Athabasca that he wouldn't feel safe guiding today. And even for everyday hikers, hazards are increasing as a result of the Great Melt. More rockfall and more kind of extreme events in our mountains in terms of slopes moving around that we used to think were solid, but they're actually on ice and that ice is melting. It's just my office is kind of falling apart out there. Last summer, a massive portion of a glacier collapsed during unusually hot weather in Italy, killing 11 hikers. Closer to home, the 100-year-old Abbott Pass hut near Lake Louise was dismantled after melting permafrost left it unsafe. Researchers say the effects of the rapidly disappearing glaciers will increasingly be felt on the prairie. What we will uh, not have is the flows that are important in the hottest, driest years when that glacier ice melt is a much higher proportion of the uh, total flow of the rivers. The famous ice field parkway is already much different than just 20 years ago, where the Crowfoot Glacier no longer looks like a crow's foot. The, the state of the glaciers in the Canadian Rockies is dire right now. And some of its famous blue lakes are shifting towards a duller hue. Many of them are in this state, and, uh, um, and so we'll see them disappear now over the next few decades. Bill McFarlane, CTV News, Canmore.